Hello, my loves. What be this now? Well, we're going to go in for a another Metroidvania. We're going to go for one of the Castlevania games. One that I played, oh, a long, long time ago. Harmony of Dissonance, I think. Uh, what have we got on here anyway? So there's Harmony of Dissonance, Aria of Sorrow, Vampire's Kiss. Oh, these are all really good games as well. Harmony of Dissonance, which is the shittest name for anything ever, by the way. Um, I played this when I was a student on my Game Boy Advance. Many moons ago. Oh, and it looks like it's on the Game Boy Advance too. Brilliant. Oh, it's all pixely. I love it. That's charming. I like that. I bet you can turn that off. I bet there's um, options to muck about with that. I might do that. Let's have a look, though. Oh my god, look at it. Um, what do we do? Uh, do? Let's have a look. Screen settings. Pixel perfect, full. Standard. Let's go for pixel perfect. That sounds good. Um, okay. Wallpaper. Oh, we can muck about with the wallpaper too. That's cute. Gadget settings. Alright. Sound settings, control settings, encyclopedia. Return to game. Yeah. Okay. So, select data. New game. Uh, oh, we can select the name of the character. Oh, we'll go for Elias, because uh, it's always Elias Kirshner, my dimension hopping sorcerer from my fiction who is always my character in video games there we go hey text scroll 50 years have passed since simon belmont vanquished the curse of dracula fate has dictated that just belmont uh blood descendant of the belmont belmont family that doesn't make any sense hunt for the relics of dracula one day, which is always a good way of starting a story, Just's best friend, Maxim, who had set out on a training expedition two years earlier, returned unexpectedly, his body covered with wounds. He informs Just that Liddy, uh, a childhood friend whom they both deeply care about, has been kidnapped. Maxim has completely lost his memory of his time training away from home and only has vague images of the kidnapping. Ignoring his bodily injuries, Maxim leads Just to the place where he believes Liddy is being held captive. Passing through thick fog, the two men happen upon a castle, undocumented on any map. Could this be the fabled Dracula's castle? Well, who knows? Standing solemnly in the night, this forbidding castle, foreboding maybe, forbidding is also a word, welcomes its unexpected guests as the moonlight shines upon it. So this is a Metroidvania in the, in the same uh, vein as Symphony of the Night. It's not as good as Symphony of the Night, but it is still a lot of fun, this one. I enjoyed this one a great deal when I was uh, a little bit younger. Um, this one was obviously not on the PlayStation, it was on a portable system, so it's not as technically advanced. So here we are. So you truly believe that Liddy was brought to this castle? My memory fails me, but this seems to be the place. Don't you believe me? No. Now that you mention it, no. I know better than anyone that you are not the type to lie. Oh, but he is! <laughs> ah, yes. Are you alright? No, that's why I went, ah. I'm fine. It's Liddy you should con be concerned about, not me. Go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. You have my word. Okay, then. I'll see you inside. <laughs> okay. That was quite nice, actually. Okay, so that's the map. Oh, oh, the buttons are weird. So how does this... Right. Okay, so... Hey! 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 Oh, this is so weird. That's the map. That is a very, very, very strange button for the map. But hey, I'm going to have to get used to that. That's weird. I like the lightning. That's cool. Can we do anything? Oh, that's the that's the options. Okay, yeah, we're ready. Oh, fuck. Is that going to get up? Yeah, that's going to get up. That's, um... Oh, oh, hello! Hey, cool! Okay, I think I've gotten used to this now. That, that's a monster. Yeah. Come on, then. Ho, oh, that's a big one. Ow. I can't hurt it at the moment. Great. I don't think I can hurt it anyway. God, I haven't played this for so long! Ooh! 
Oh, that's not good. Ah, it's gonna fall. Bye! <laughs> well, that was violent. Entrance. So here we are. You may recognize the gameplay now. Hey, up. Can you see that outside? That's not good. Hey. <laughs> Bit of uh, vandalism to Dracula's castle there. Because, of course. Okay, we can go up or we can go that way. Let's go have a look. Ooh, what's with the, uh, the blood there? Oh, I'll take the armor. Leather armor. I'm sure that'll be good. Uh oh. Gotcha. Oh, the music is so good. Uh, body. Might as well take the leather armor. I mean, there's no downside to have it. Easily maneuvered armor made from tanned hides. Cool. There's no reason not to take it, right? Again, you have to bear in mind that this is from the Game Boy Advance. So it's like a little handheld SNES, really. Which is why the graphics look like this, you know? A little pixely but still quite fluid and quite fun. It's very much a, a classic Castlevania game. And I kind of love it for that. Yeah, Chucking bones at me. I need to find the first boss. I, it's been years, maybe even... Yeah, it would be a decade since I played this. Or more. Holy hell. Oh, I'm feeling old. Stop it. One thing I never liked, that weird blue outline. Hey, it's the classic knights. Well, I've never understood why Just has that weird blue outline around him. It's really strange, right? God, we need a stronger weapon, I know that. We need to up our strength a little bit because we suck right now. <laughs> I love the way they die. As you can see, it is not as technically advanced as Symphony of the Night, but it's still very, very good. Potion. Now, I think I can equip that um, in my on my offhand. Let's have a look. No. No, I can't. Cool. Items. Can I equip my items? Cool. There we are. Excellent. We're a bit... Uh, that's more like it. Look at that. Hey. The button setup is still like it would have been on the Game Boy Advance, the original Game Boy Advance. So I've got to adjust the way I'm... sort of the way my muscle memory is expecting it to be. I'm trying to play it a bit more like um, Symphony of the Night. But this, it is a classic Metroidvania. You've seen many on this channel. That's what this is. It's a, it's a Castlevania game. And it's great fun. I've got to say, it's loads of fun to play. Great monsters, great bosses, lots of exploration. Can't really complain about it. I don't even know where I am at the moment, if I'm perfectly honest. Hello. Hmm. What's the little question mark in the corner? What does that indicate? I Oh, hello. Save room. I'll have that. Thank you. Yes. I like that. Do, 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 do. That's very cool. Gotcha. Now, I think as well, just like in the previous Castlevania game, yes, you get levels up for killing things. That's great. So the more of that, the better. The more violence, the better, obviously. I love the music. It's classic Castlevania music. Hey, heart max up. That's good. Excellent. Okay. That's how we... I was, I, was, I was wondering how we use our specialist weapons. It's actually classic. It's up and attack. Like it is in uh, a lot of the original Castlevanias. Can't get up there yet. Need an item to get this way that makes us more mobile. Ha-ha! Gotcha. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> That's actually very good, the holy water. Not everyone's favourite, it has to be said, the Holy Water. I've always found it to be an excellent weapon. Now, this looks good. Let's go have a look. The Marble Corridor. Interesting. Love the music. These old-fashioned graphics as well. I'm, I'm actually very, very taken with this. I find it very charming. 
Reminds me of playing my Super Nintendo back in the day. Hello, Death! Holt, the colour of your soul. You must be a Belmont. It's better than the colour of your robe, mate. That is correct. This overwhelming power, death. Okay, you just know that that's death. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hello. Which means this is, in fact, Dracula's castle. Well deduced, just. Well deduced. That might be true, though the power that is here is not my lord's. Oh, interesting. What do you mean? I must go now. Yes, I'm very busy. I am the Grim Reaper, after all. We shall meet again, son of Belmont. Ah, he got away. He did! And he laughed while he did it, the bastard. Hello. What's this? Castle map one. That's going to be useful. Look at that. Hey! We can see where we are now. That's brilliant. And how much we've done. Yeah, it's a little confusing. There's quite a uh, an elaborate lore regarding Dracula's castle and the Belmont lineage in these games. And it just gets more elaborate as the games go on. So... I mean, it doesn't really have that much to do with the game itself, to be perfectly honest. It's somewhat incidental, but it is fun to follow. I keep pressing that damn button instead of attack. I may have to remap the buttons a bit, if that's possible. Oh, this is like a central gallery then. That's interesting. So, oh look, there's uh, there's the roof, I think. I love all the, the stains on the wallpaper and whatnot. That's cool. Where even are we now? Hello. What's that about? Hmm, I sense me a little bit of puzzling. Oh, if I can get up there, that is. There we go. Ha-ha! Okay, what's that for? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, so I can get up. <laughs> Anything in the wall, like there so often is in Castlevania? Aha. So the power here is not Dracula, apparently. If you can trust the word of death, that is. Who is a long-time servant of Dracula in these uh, in this game's mythology? He's been there since the very beginning. He's been in every single Castlevania going, every single one of them. And in fact, in some of them, he takes the role of the villain. It's slightly weird, isn't it? I mean, you'd think it'd be the other way around, right? That Dracula would be, hello, the Ice Book. What does that do? I don't know. Let's equip it and find out. Spellbooks. Okay, ice book on. When combined with a sub weapon, you can cast many ice spells. Yay! I'll take that. Ooh, that I bet it's good with the holy water. Let's uh, let's have a go. Oh yeah, it's great. <laughs> Love it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I seem to recall this one being a lot easier than Symphony of the Night, and in fact, the most of them, actually. This one's an easy Castlevania. There are, that said, there are many secrets and different endings in this game that you have to, like, you have to complete many, many different criteria in order to get, so that's kind of interesting. Let me have a look here. So we've got this central gallery. We can go down or we can go right. I'm gonna go down, I think. Hello, bats! Ah! Didn't think you'd be back. God, I need a better weapon. Sadly, unlike in um, Symphony of the Night, you can't pick up different weapons. You're stuck with the old Belmont chain and ball, unfortunately. Hello. Where the hell are we going? Well, this is decorous, and I like it. I love that potion, thank you. Ooh, this is weird. Uh-oh. See the big skeleton in the background? The Room of Illusion. There's a puzzle to... Oh, God. Excellent. Bloody Medusa heads. Yeah, they're back. And they're as annoying as they ever bloody were. There's a puzzle here. There's a mystery 
in the Room of Illusion, and I think there's an item you need to get to see through it. Ah, hello. Fancy bandana. Ooh, that looks fun. Equip um, body. Fancy bandana. A stylish bandana. Um, it ups my defense and looks probably quite silly with that hair and that outfit, but I'll take it. What's with all the lava? Uh-oh. This is a boss. I think. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, that's... Uh... That's rather psychedelic, isn't it? That's actually screwing with my head, and I rather like it. Hello. Oh, I don't want that. I want this. Thank you. Oh! Can we do that? Get out. No, I can't get that yet. Damn it. We can't duck and dash, so we can't do that yet. Thank you. You see, that it's, it's classic Metroidvania. There are many areas that are locked off until you've found the right item or the right spell or whatever to get through. Hello, let's go. Ooh, I love all the blood that comes out of them when they die. And thus far, there are none of the damn Medusa heads that turn you to stone, so that's good. Remember them? from the previous Castlevanias, Castlevania 3, for example, and Super Castlevania. Ugh. There's no way these, these Metroidvania games are nowhere near as hard as those classic Castlevania games. Oh, crap. The side-scrolling ones, nowhere near. Whoa, fuck. Aha! That is so useful. That is going to serve me well. Especially when we come to the bosses, I can tell you. Because the bosses can be a bit tough. They're always a bit tough in Metroid. In Metroid? No. In Castlevania games. They were in Metroid too, but that was a slip. Um, I need a save room, don't I? Ideally. Can't get up there. Oh, there's nothing. nowhere to go up there yet. But there probably will be. There are quite a few destructible walls and things like that. So you've got to be quite careful. Flea men! The flea men are back! Yay! Classic Castlevania. Um, what is the... Oh, wow, that's actually quite crap. I don't want that. Oh, no! We'll have to have it now. Until we get something better. Um, that looks like a save room to me. Let's go do it. This looks like a save room. Excellent. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. Lovely. That also restores your health, by the way. And your mana, so it's pretty good. I mean, th these games, they do something very fundamental for me. They're, they're old-fashioned adventure games, where you're just exploring and finding new environments and new monsters to fight. and Leather gloves! Oh, I'll have those. Those sound fancy. Leather gloves. Um, gloves of leather. Warm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, not my first consideration in this castle, but fine. Oh god, these things are everywhere. Dracula, you've got a Medusa head problem, mate. Red stone, what does that do? Fancy bandana. Oh, JB's bracelets. So is that an item? Hmm, interesting. Is it a relic? No, it's not a relic either. Hmm, how interesting. Nope, there is nothing else. Oh, okay. Okay, that's weird. I don't know what that does yet, but we'll find out! Haha. The, pro the progression of your character, like the, the very light RPG elements in this game are very naturalistic as well. You don't need to grind. There's no point in it. Just wander around and fight things. And Oh, there's a boss through there. Um, can we get through that? Yeah, I don't know. We may not be able to open that. Let's go have a look. I mean, we only just saved. So <laughs> oh, we can. Uh-oh. Oh, this is scary. 
It's the classic! It's the bat! You remember this? From Castlevania 1? Bloody hell! That's amazing! Oh, that was brilliant, wasn't it? It's great if you hit the damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think his um, his hurt sound is really goofy. Yeah, it's this this boss is in the original Castlevania and is in most Castlevanias. Um, the bat, the giant bat. Oh, that was shit. I need to get rid of this axe. It's terrible. Oh, <laughs> look at that! It's awful. And it's little fire breath. That's very sweet. <laughs> I wonder what we'll get for beating it. Let's find out. Well, that... Whoa. That's dramatic. That's very dramatic. Oh, hang on. So, my loves, victory over the bat. Let's go have a look what we get. Oh, just access through. Hang on, hang on. Ah, okay, okay. So that's the first... That's the first boss, and it's... I think you'll agree it's not much of one. It's very, very easy. They do ramp up. They do ramp up quite dramatically, actually. Some of the bosses in this thing are immense. They're immense and very intimidating. Boom, 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 boom. Love that. Okay. And what did we get from that? Anyway, what did we get from the bat? Did we get a relic? No, 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 we didn't. It's just, uh... Secret info? Oh, that's interesting. Ooh! Oh, you've got a quick save. That's cute. I didn't realise that. Anything? Whip? Oh! That's fire at... Oh! That's what the redstone does! I'm gonna... I'm gonna save it again, just in case. Cause, just in case I forget to do that next time. Because knowing me, I will. So now where can we go? We can go any number of places. Let's go up and have a look what's going on up there, shall we? <laughs> no, let's not. Let's do the exact opposite of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll keep that. The book. I don't know what it does in conjunction with the ice. But let's uh, let's keep it. An oh, I can't do that. Not yet. I haven't the means. And I don't have any spells, do I, apart from that? No. I've only got the ice tome at the moment. I can't remember if there are transformations in this one, like there are in um, Symphony of the Night, but there may be. I must stop doing that when I mean to, to smack them. Look at that, we've got fire on our whip now, that's nice. Probably wouldn't have helped against the bat because it had a sort of fire element anyway, but hey. Ow, thank you. Hang on. Well, that didn't work. Um, yeah, we can get through here. Aha! Or is it up there? It's up there we can get through. And down here as well, I believe. Aha! Hello, armoured skeleton! You're a little bit intimidating, but not that much. Actually, you take off a hell of a lot of health when you hit. Flea man! Let's deal with him. Ah! some of the most annoying enemies in the original game. <laughs> I quite like them. There is an enemy which is a flea man riding on the back of some of a, a bigger enemy. Anti-venom. That's for when you're poisoned. Can't get that yet. Ow. Thank you, flea man. Ow. Hey, level up. Excellent. Always happy to get a level up. Ooh, and a heart. Heart max, lovely. Ooh, what be that? I don't know, I can't get it. I haven't got the double jump yet. But I will. I never liked that sort of blue line and the, the ghostly echoes that follow him. I never liked that. It does lend a sense of motion to him. I'll give you that, and it does make him distinct on the screen, but I never, ever liked it very much. Okay, let's have an explore down here. Oh, 
Um, hang on, let me have a look. Which is better? <gasps> Whoa, that's better. I'll keep that. Hello, fairy journal. What does this do? Is a spell book? No, it's not. A relic? Ah, fairy journal. Allows user to recognize the names of his enemies. That's great. Excellent. I'll, I'll keep that because some of the names in these Castlevania games are comical. The Wailing Way. Ooh. Don't remember this area. But it does look like one of the classic Castlevania areas, doesn't it? Like from Castlevania 4. Uh-oh. Oh, what's that? He's a big one. Rock armor. Very cool. Hello. Oh! Large ghost. You ain't kidding. Monster tome. What does that do? Another relic? Monster tome. Allows users to see the data of monsters he has met. Oh, that's cool. I love that stuff. It's kind of incidental to the game, but it's fun. It's lore, and I like that. Ah, oh, these bloody ghosts are going to manifest all over the place, aren't they? Okay, where are we going now? Oh, hello. Is that a pill? Mana prism, right, okay. Looks like a pill to me. A really big suppository. Where am I going? Honestly don't know. But one of these, I hope, is a save room. I mean, not that it matters. You can just sort of, like, save here. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. Quick save. Excellent. You can also do this, um, which is a bit naughty. Um, you can just save here. This is basically like a save state. There you are. See? There we go. So you can save in-game or in-system, which is kind of cool. Oh, look at what it is! It's the old dragons! Excellent! We love these. We don't. They're annoying. See what I mean? I remember this music. Remember this music very well. Let's take a potion. There we go. Hey, look at that! One potion can restore all of our health at the moment. That's amazing. That's because we're very low level. Goodbye. Something tells me that will open at some point. Love the colours in this game, and the, the, the backgrounds are lovely. The backgrounds are actually a little bit more inventive and animated than the ones you found on the SNES games. For the most part, they're really interesting. Bone pillar. I like those. Ooh, where... Ooh, where are we going? Oh, look at that. I want that. Need the double jump first, though. Axe, don't want that. That can sod off. Hello, rock armor. You... Meh. Bet. Bum, 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 bum. I was wondering, would we need the double jump to, to make that? Apparently not. Oh, hello. Another relic. Can we get it, though? Probably not. I don't think I can get up there. Nope, not yet. So that's another dead end we'll need to come back to when we eventually get the double jump. And we will. We will eventually. I can't remember where, for the life of me where it is. That's going to break. All of that's going to break. Yeah, these are classic Castlevania monsters, these are. Aha! Did that, not, oh, did that not destroy them? Bloody hell. They're tough. I may need to beat a particular boss to get that ability or something like that. The graphics and the style of it actually remind me a little bit of Ghouls and Ghosts or Ghosts and Goblins, you know? Ow, thank you. Oh, there's another one. Bloody hell. They're not as tough as they look, you know. They are not as tough as they look. Ow. 
where am I? So I'm in this big central area. Okay, cool. It's always good to figure out exactly where you are in these games. Because it's very easy to get lost. And to come a right cropper. Whoa! That there was a, nearly a very good example. I like how goofy these skulls are. Oh, excellent. Nice. The more level ups you get, the better, obviously, you know? Oh, we're going back on ourselves here. Hang on. This way. No, nope, we can't go this way, can we? <laughs> oh, how foolish. So we need to go down. I do love their dying sound. It's really funny. Oh, I could smash the rocks he throws as well. That's cool. I never did figure out why the hearts for weapon use. I mean, it's such a weird thing, right? You'd think, the obviously, you'd think that they'd be for health, yeah? But no, that's not the way it works in Castlevania, and it never has been. Well, oh, there's a big one. God, he's beautifully animated. He looks like the Terminator, doesn't he? He's quite scary, actually. Quite intimidating. I like him. Bastard. Ah. Can I get up there? Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it looks nice. Oh, hello. Hey, drumstick, turkey leg. Yay, just lying around in a mouldering castle. Let's eat it. Let's not. <laughs> Drumstick, restore some HP. Blip. I have to stop using all of them, actually. Hello, lizard man. You, you are a classic D&D &D lizard man. How cool is that? You'll find that a lot in these games, by the way. I bet this is locked. I don't think I can get through here. Yeah, I need an item to get through there. God damn it. It's locked. Stuck. Jammed. You'll find a lot of D&D &D monsters in this. You'll find a lot of Lovecraft monsters in this, including Cthulhu himself. Cthulhu is in this. Um, a lot of monsters from, like, classic horror films, Hammer Horror, Universal Horror. Uh, Silk Cloak. Let's have a look at that. Equip. Um, leather Armor. Fancy Bandana. Ooh, Silk Cloak. Oh, that's even better. Um, a cloak made from fine silk and is extremely light, but it does have higher defense, so I'll have that. Thank you. Some of the, um, some of the clothes and the suits have magical effects. So it's, it's definitely worth keeping an eye on that. Where are we? I find this very addictive, I've got to say. I find this kind of game, the Castlevania games, very addictive. This feels... Oh, hello. Shrine of the Apostates. Ooh, get you. It's all very fancy, isn't it? Hello, lizard man. I like the way they die with the hiss. Yes, they can do a very nasty lunge attack. But I can do a very nasty magic attack, so, you know, it's fine. Where am I now? I don't know, but I think I should go this way. I tell you what, my loves, I'm going to call it quit there. I will do a little sneaky save. And I will also do one of these. Uh, just in case that doesn't take, save. Blub, blub, lovely. And when we come back, we'll explore a little bit more of Dracula's Castle. Until then, my loves, bye-bye.